Hey folks, Eric Blackwelder, Exit First Choice Realty, coming to you today from the site of a new home to be constructed. You know, it takes some of these things back here to move the dirt that it takes to build a new home. Now this home happens to be next door to my house, so what I plan to do is give you New Home Construction 101 in bits and bytes over the months to come while this custom home is being built. And today we're going to start with what's down at the bottom of the house. It's the foundation of the house. The, the foundation that the house is going to sit on and some little tips and tricks to look for when you're looking at a house so that you know what it is you're dealing with. Well, I'm standing on what is the slab for the garage. It's a two-car garage, so it measures about 20 by 20 feet. And over to the one side here, there's a little niche uh, where you could have a workbench area. Um, one thing I'm going to show you. Let's take a look down here. You notice the, these little pegs here. All around the foundation of the house, there are these little pegs. And what's going to happen is when the first layer of wood goes down on the house, there's going to be what's called a bandboard that goes down. And these are the points where there will be straps that tie the house to the foundation. So the house doesn't just sit there. It's actually wrapped around some steel pieces that tie it to the foundation. Now I've turned the camera from the garage. I'm still standing at the garage level. And now we're looking down into the basement of the house where you can see the sub slab or the, the basement slab has been poured. And there are footings there for what will be the support posts for the uh, steel beams that, that will un go underneath the joists of the house. More about that in just a moment. Hey, over here, I'm coming to you from what's going to be the door to the wine cellar. It's underneath the front of the house. Now, when the house is built, there's, um, you can see the foundation walls behind me, and they go all around here. Well, when the foundation, before the foundation is poured, there's what are called footers, which are big, about three foot deep trench that's filled with concrete, provides a very strong base for the foundation walls to sit on. Really hefty base. Well, notice here in front of me, there's a, there's a hole in the basement slab. This is another base, if you will, for a post that's going to go here, a steel post that's going to help support a steel beam that supports the joists of the house going out. You see the subfloor or the slab down here is not hefty enough to, to bear that weight. So you want to have a real deep chunk of concrete buried down in the soil to carry that load from the house and then after it's put in place, there uh, will be some concrete put around this to patch it, if you will, and uh, make it look aesthetically pleasing. Now over here are some pipes that have already been laid underneath the concrete for a finished bathroom down in the basement. Okay, this would be for a tub or a shower. Over here we've got one for the potty. And then we have a vent stack here, which would be for a sink that goes up to um, the roof so that there's not a vacuum in the, in the system of the plumbing. Now, I'm standing down in the, um, in the foundation here where another post will stand that will help support the steel beam that supports the rest of the house above it here. Over here next to me is a another um, uh, waistline, probably for a wet bar that could be used in the future. Now look behind me here. Check this out. Look at this line. See this line that goes across the wall line right here? This is the line between two different cores of concrete. When this, when this basement was formed, there were huge forms 
poles laid in with steel beams inside, and then the concrete truck came and poured concrete down into the forms, and what you see there is a line between the first pour, and then the truck ran out, so they brought in the next truck, and then comes the second pour. It took three pours of concrete to complete the foundation of this home. Back here behind me is a window that was formed into the foundation when the concrete was poured. What you can see if you look here is that when the forms were set up, inside the forms, there were these pieces of two by 10 that were placed to form this cavity for the window to keep the concrete out with a little extra support right here. And then later on, as the house moves along and the windows start to be installed in the home, that uh, piece of wood in the middle will come out and the window installers will do their thing there insofar as how they use the frame around it to support the window that's going to be in there. Now these are stairs that come from the basement that go up to the backyard. It's important to have these stairs and an entryway over here to your left so that anyone in the basement can get out. Why is that important? Well, starting two years ago, there was a regulation passed in Prince William County that says, if you want to have a finished basement, you've got to have some way of getting out of the house, um, which includes stairs and at least a window that somebody can get through. So those little eyebrow windows up at the top don't count. It's got to be a full-size window, just like the one I showed you. Now this particular house happens to have two of those windows, one on each end of the foundation. But most important, it's got these steps here behind me so that it is legal to finish off the basement as you please, and this satisfies the fire regulation codes. Now to build a house this size, you gotta move a lot of dirt around. And this is just one of the machines that is used to uh, do some of the final grading around here. When the foundation was dug, it was a full-size bulldozer that came in and dug down through all those tree roots and got down deep so that the footers could be for poured and then dried. And then the foundation walls set upon them, filled with concrete, let those dry, take the forms off of there. And uh, now the house is, is um, got the grading around it. This machine has just finished doing all the grading around the front of the house and shortly the lumber package will show up so that the house can begin to go into what's called framing. So until framing begins, this is Eric Blackwelder at Exit First Choice Realty, 703-590-2252. Bye-bye.